I cannot wait to eat this. This looks and smells so good. What? Okay, all right, I'm taking a bite. So you probably clicked on this video because you're hungry or bored. And if that's true, then you clicked on the right video because today we're gonna be showing you guys some really yummy and easy food hacks. Also, we've been doing weekly Zoom calls with you guys. And if you wanna be a part of this week's Zoom call, all you have to do is subscribe, turn on our post notifications, and comment down done when you are done. This one right here is how you make homemade pizza. You're just gonna need some bread. Take the bread, break it up, put it inside the cup, put an egg inside of it, tomato sauce, some cheese, some pepperoni, tomato, and then more cheese, then you microwave it for two minutes, and that actually looks really good. That actually looks like some good pizza right there. We have all the ingredients right here for the homemade pizza. Now we're gonna take this piece of bread and break it up into multiple crumbs. Add that in there. This piece and that piece. Okay, now you're gonna wanna take an egg and break the egg inside of this cup right here. Here we go. Mm. Then you want to add your tomato sauce. That's a pretty good amount right there. Then we're going to take a little bit of cheese and add it over this. Ooh, Parmesan cheese. That's the best part. Then we're going to add our choice of topping. Ours was pepperoni. Then you're going to want to add your tomatoes. Place them right here on top. And lastly, even more cheese right here. Ooh, look at that. Then you're going to want to add all of this inside the microwave for two minutes. Put it inside the microwave right here. Oh my gosh, our microwave is filthy. Let's just add it for two minutes right here. All right, and now we wait. Dude, oh, it's one. Here we go. All right. I'm not the only one who does this. Check this out. I got it on one second. That was a close call. Oh my goodness. Wait a second. Look at this. This is good. That actually turned out a lot better than I thought it was. It actually smells like pizza too. That's the good part about it. Here, let's do a taste test. This looks and smells so good. I cannot wait to eat this. Oh, that looks so good. I know. This does not look so good and cheesy right here. How is it? This taste is just like pizza. Wait, I'm gonna have another bite. It's so good. This is actually so good. I'm eating another bite. Alex, let me take a bite. No, Alan, let's make another one right now. Grab the ingredients, go, go. So this one right here is perfect for dessert lovers. It looks like we're gonna be making some s'mores and here's the video right here. So you just get some mini Reese's cups, put all that inside a pan, then you put some marshmallows inside the pan, and you put it inside the oven, let it bake for a little bit, and and you eat it with your graham crackers and that looks so good. All you're gonna need for your homemade Reese's s'mores is obviously some mini Reese's, marshmallows, and some, some graham crackers. crackers. So you start by putting the Reese's inside the frying pan. And now it is time to add the marshmallows. Boom, just like that. Now you take this and put it inside the oven for five minutes. Make sure your oven's already on 400 degrees like we did right here. All right, we're gonna check back on it in five minutes. So we actually put it in there for 10 minutes, but now it's time to get it out. All right. <gasps> Ooh, that looks so good. Look at this. Oh, yes, sir. This looks so good. It's like not too burnt. It's like perfect. I have to do a taste test right now. All right, taste test time. Let's get this. Oh, look at this. It looks like a cloud. It's like so fluffy. Oh, look at this. Look at the inside of it. All okay, right. all on. right, Hold on. my turn. I'm gonna, I'm gonna eat this s'more right here. Okay, this is actually really good. The texture is like perfect, literally perfect. This is probably like the prettiest dessert too. I would highly recommend this. This is very easy to make, very tasty. A really good way to impress your friends and your family. So this one is for all of you mac and cheese lovers right here. This one looks pretty simple. And here's the video right here. So obviously you're gonna need some elbow mac and cheese. Pour it inside of a pan, pour some water inside of it, add some tomato sauce. Then you add some pollo chicken seasoning flavor. Mix it together, add a shredded cheese, and wow, that looks really, really cheesy. That's like the cheesiest mac and cheese I've ever seen. Cheesy mac and cheese. The cheesier, the better. For your extra cheesy homemade mac and cheese, all you're gonna need is obviously some elbow mac and cheese, some tomato sauce, some El Pollo chicken seasoning, some cheese, and some water. So first step, you're gonna wanna pour the elbows mac and cheese inside of the pan. Next step, pour the water inside of the pan. You wanna get it just above the mac and cheese. Now, we're gonna take this pan over here and we are going to put it on top of the stove. And now you're gonna to wanna to let it sit until it starts to boil. All right, now that the water is boiling, the next step is to add half a cup of tomato sauce. That's good. 
And now the next step is to add a tablespoon of chicken pollo seasoning. Oh, there we go. Now you just stir it around, just like this right here. And um, you're gonna wanna keep stirring it until it becomes soft. Okay, so the mac and cheese is finally ready. And what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna add some cheese inside of this bowl right here. Here we go. That should be enough cheese right there. And now we're gonna dump the mac and cheese inside this bowl of cheese for an even cheesier mac and cheese. So now I'm just gonna stir it around with the cheese underneath. That way it becomes cheesier. Mm. You can still see the smoke. That's how you know it's good. Look how cheesy this is. Ooh. All right, taste test. How is it? How is it? How is it? Whoa, all jokes aside, this is actually really, really good. Really? Like it's a perfect amount of cheesiness and you can taste like the chicken flavor and everything. Like the texture, Wait, this is so actually true. good. Like we normally don't like mac and cheese, but this is actually very good. Yeah, this is. What? Very good. So this one right here is another dessert hack. You're just gonna need some Oreos, some, some milk, milk, a fork, and a cup. You're gonna wanna put the Oreos inside of the cup, crush it up a little bit. You're gonna wanna put the Oreos inside the cup, then pour some milk inside of it, then crush it up with your fork. And once all of your Oreos are crushed up, you then take your cup, put it in a microwave for 60 seconds, and after the 60 seconds, you have yourself some very delicious or dessert. All right, so we have all of our ingredients right here for our homemade Oreo brownie. So we have our cup, milk, whipped cream, fork, and Oreos. We're gonna put like seven Oreos inside the cup right here. First take, first take, that was the first take, first try. So we're gonna add our milk now, just a little bit of milk. This is very important, don't add too much milk. And there we go, that's good. Now I'm gonna take the fork and pretty much break the cookies. We're gonna crush it until it looks like batter. And I think it's ready. Yeah, I think it is. So when it looks like this, we wanna put this in a microwave for about one minute. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. And now we wait. Okay, so it's ready now. And whoa! Do we put it in there for too long? Oh, how long did you put it in there for? Wait, we should put this in a freezer before it melts. It looks Wait, like it's melting. What happened? Why'd you put it in there for so long? Or a two, minute? Was it two minutes or one minute? You put it in there for an extra 30? I know what happened. When you put it in there for too long, it expands into a cake like this. Guys. Oh my gosh, it looks so good though. This looks too good. We're gonna have to like freeze it for a little bit. Okay, we're just kidding guys. The real Oreo brownies in here and it actually came out looking really nice. Look, it, it smells so good. Why do we say that at the same time? Because it does. That's the first thing that came to my mind. Now, this step is optional, but we're going to be adding some whipped cream to it. Taste test coming very soon. Stop, Alan, you're not allowed to eat it. It's all for me. It's all for me. Alan, stop, stop. Alan, it's all for me. Wait, that brownie is so good. That's so good. Stop. The brownie is actually so good. It's mine now. I actually stop trying to grab it for me. And he wonders why he weighs 10 pounds more than me. It's because I'm a lot more muscular. I'm going to go make another one. So right here, we have a Chick-fil-A food hack. So you take the sandwich out of the bag, then you take the chicken patty and put it inside the bag, then you pour the sauce inside of it, and whoa. Okay, so afterwards, you just shake it up a little bit, and whoa. look at that! That's like a really, really marinated, tasty chicken. I'm gonna, we're gonna have to try this out. We have our Chick-fil-A sandwiches right here, along with our favorite sauces, Chick-fil-A sauce and ranch. And you start by taking the sandwich out of the bag, um, you remove the buns. Oh, they put pickles on mine. I didn't want pickles. I'll take the pickles. Wait, okay, really? wait, we'll just swap later. So you're gonna wanna put the patty inside of the bag like this. But I'm adding the sauce inside the Chick-fil-A bag right now. All right, and then I'm gonna add my ranch sauce. Close now it. we're gonna close the bag and shake it up. After you shake it up for a few seconds, it should come out looking really nice. Okay, grand reveal in three, two, one. This looks so good, doesn't it? Look how mine turned out. Wait, yours turned out better. I like yours better. Wow. Now, this might be the reason why I've been gaining so much weight right here. All these incredible food hacks that we're sharing with you guys. Okay, taste test. Three, two, one. My goodness. This is like so flavorful. This tastes better than putting the sauce on it manually because it's spread out a lot more evenly. Where like every part of the sandwich has like the same taste as the It's like to... a lot juicier. And so a whole lot better to like dipping it inside the sauce as well. All right, so for this food hack right here, it actually looks pretty simple and it looks pretty fun too. So yeah, let's just jump right into it. Okay, so all you're gonna need is some soda, some Elmer's glue, some glitter, pour all that inside the soda, shake it up for a little bit, and it should it come sh out looking like slime. 
Is that slime? That's so what? cool. And can you eat that? So the ingredients you need, once again, are the orange Fanta soda, glue, glitter, and we just put like a, this is optional, but we put like a bowl right here. All right, first step, you're gonna wanna pour out a little bit of the orange Fanta soda, which we already did, and let's add a little bit of glue inside of it. Hopefully this works. I don't know if this one works or not. There's no way this is gonna work. There's no way. And that should be good. That should be good. Cause like, what makes me think this doesn't work is the fact that like, what's the, what, what does the glitter, glitter have to do with it? it? Yeah, exactly, that's exactly what I was thinking. And now I'm just gonna go ahead and pour in the glitter. All right, here we go. That should be enough glitter. And we're gonna shake it around for a little bit. I think this is ready. Okay, um, one thing I'm scared about is... What if this is just like a prank? Yeah, what if, I feel like this is just a prank. Moment of truth in three, two, one. Okay, all right, shut it, shut it, shut it, okay. shut it, shut it, shut it. Okay. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna open it. I'm just, I just wanna see what, how it looks when it explodes. Okay, all right. Oh. Oh my gosh, that's giving me a heart attack. Okay, is like this is definitely a liquid sub. This is not gooey or anything like that. What is this? This didn't work. Okay, maybe this was just a prank. Okay, this is actually soda. What? Who, who, we just got bamboozled. We got pranked. I would not recommend this. Zero for ten. Very messy, and nothing cool came out of it. Just a waste of time. And for this final hack right here, I feel like we've been doing a little bit too many food hacks, so this one right here is gonna be a life hack. All you're gonna want to do is scroll down a little bit on the video that you're watching right now, and give this video a like, and also subscribe, and turn on our post notifications. And with that hack right there, you're never gonna miss another one of our videos. That's the best hack. That, we saved the best hack for the last hack, didn't we? On a real note, if you guys did enjoy this video, please be sure to give it a like. Also comment down below which food hacks you would see yourself using. And with that being said, thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you guys next time.